I got a new project. Uh, in that box is a trike, and I'm going to be putting a motor on that. I'm done with the motorized bicycle. It's all finished. I sold it. It was fun while it lasted, but I'm going to be focusing on this. And uh, instead of putting a 49 cc engine on it, I'm going to put a 79 cc engine. So it's going to be a little bit bigger, make a little bit more power. I'm still missing some stuff, so right now I'm just going to unbox it and try to assemble this thing. And I'm going to wait till I get the engine and everything else in it. Okay, so I got it all out of the box and unpacked. Um, it's that seat looks real comfortable though. Here's the mainframe. That's a Vevor. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Vevor, Vevor. Yellow seven-speed. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of bent. This got to be bent back. I don't know if you see, but that piece in the back where the axle hooks up to, that's bent a little bit. I gotta straighten that out. It's nice that they put these here so your forks don't bend. Uh, that came with some tools. I already have one of these, but it's nice that I got extra now. Uh, came with an air pump, set of Allen wrenches, and combination wrench of some kind that is bent a little bit. So I guess I'll start with the wheels. I'm going to air them up. That back end looks pretty nice. Uh, it is a I think this side, yeah, this side is the one that's powered. The other side just floats. I think it's this wheel. Yeah, this hooks up to the axle. And this is on the right side. This one's just a floater. It has nice bearings, by the way. They look decent. It is a seven speed, which might be a problem. Not because it's, it's a seven speed, but because the throttle might, I might not have room for the throttle, which means I gotta move all this, the brake and this as far over as I can. And it, it may stick off just a little bit. Most of these trikes come with a little, um, a little pin where you pull the brake back and you push the pin in and it locks so this thing won't move um, this wouldn't come with it but that's fine so I'm gonna bend I'm gonna go over the frame and bend back some of these tabs that are a little bent uh, I'm gonna start with the wheels though
This side's fine. This side's a little bent in ways. See, I could slide this in just fine. Not this side, though. I gotta bend that back. Okay, I don't have them tight or fully tightened down. I just getting it mocked up. But this whole thing can slide back and forth. That's pretty cool. The bolts go here. up the bearings you don't have to do it I just chose to do it just and it gives it a smoother ride there was little to no grease in those bearings so I'm kind of glad I did also one of the bearings popped out I think it was this bearing here popped out of the cage and it was rolling around in in the crate housing or the bottom end bracket so I popped it back into the cage and got it screwed in there uh, well, like I said you don't have to do that they're supposed to come with a little bit of grease but I, I just went ahead and did that for I guess a smoother ride but I did notice the frame is not straight see it's kinda of coming off at an angle here I don't know if you see it it should be Yeah, it's kind of cockeyed over here. Well, I guess it's kind of straight. Well, it doesn't look straight. Yeah, maybe I'll just go ahead and bend those tabs a little bit over to this side because it's supposed to be straight like this but you can see the bike is kind of coming this direction instead of coming straight and I got those bolt tightened down so I know that's not throwing it off so I'm going to bend those a little bit back So I try to get it as straight as I can. This side came out pretty good. This side, 
adds a little bend to it, but that's the best I can do. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this all back together.